but this is session 11 of God's awesome plan and it's almost Christmas Day. Most people are looking forward to a great day of feasting, a day of giving and receiving gifts, a day of being together as a family. However, for some this just isn't going to be the case. Many are going to be celebrating Christmas without someone that they love. Others may have found that they simply couldn't afford to buy gifts for the children. Others may be cut off from their family or else they know that from past years it's going to be a time of great tension and in fact in past years it's actually ended up in fist fights. When I was training for ministry I did a course as a chaplain in a hospital and I was the one rostered on for Christmas Day. One stage I went into a ward which had two ladies and they were talking about what they would be doing if they were at home. And they were missing seeing the grandkids open their parcels, they were missing and they said the Christmas dinner wasn't all that bad, but it wasn't a, a touch on what would have had at home. And so we started to have a bit of a pity party until one of them said, but that's not what it's all about, is it? Christmas is about God coming amongst us. It's the promise that he will never leave us. And so we ended up having a prayer time together and giving thanks for the gift of Jesus. It's okay to feel sad at Christmas because of what our circumstances might be. But in that sadness, there's the joy of knowing we aren't left alone. God is with us, and he's with us in the good times and the bad. He'll never desert us, and that's what the joyful message of Christmas is. Many people treat Christmas as a time to get away from everyday life, a time to just party and forget our worries. But that's almost opposite to what Christmas is all about. God came into our everyday lives so that we could live through the hard times. My own mum died in early December and I remember the last day of school. Everyone's so excited about holidays and wishing each other a happy Christmas and I just felt totally alone. I couldn't see any reason for being happy. And there are times when we need the real meaning of Christmas. If we know someone for whom Christmas will not be a joy, Maybe we take the time to just show them the love, explain what we are celebrating. It's not just about having fun. Having said that, I pray that you may have a wonderful and joyful day of celebration. Your family will be blessed and you can trust that God will provide for all your needs. John 14, 18. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Matthew 28, 20. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Emmanuel, God with us. You come to bring me to be loved, to be near to us. You come to bring light, to be light, to shine bright.
your presence with mine.